The year was 1980. The Rubik's Cube was introduced, Mount St. Helens volcano erupted, and CNN's novel 24-hour news channel launched. And before the end of August, five African-American women who were sick and tired of being sick and tired formed the Genesee Center. This was our dream to be the best shelter that there was, not just in the city of Los Angeles, but in the United States. We would be on Broadway, 81st and Broadway, I think. The rain would come, leaky roof. And our thrift store, our clothes was also in the building. And we'd bring people in and we'd do this tour like we were in Beverly Hills, you know. And that was our love and Karen's love and the board's love and the commitment. Despite humble beginnings, Genesee vowed to provide critical services for women and children, including a safe place to protect them from harm, counseling to restore hope, and career training for a self-sustaining future. When you leave Genesee, you're leaving with a lot of, not just, oh, he isn't around anymore. We're, you're leaving with the fact that you have now got some skills, you have some training, you have some psychological counseling, you have some idea of resources that you can go to, you have the ability to know that you can do something that makes a different life for you and your children. By 1990, Genesee remained one of the only domestic violence shelters in South Los Angeles, providing comprehensive services for women and children, including a 24-hour hotline number and case management to help thousands transform from victims to survivors. We ha had to ask ourselves, what's the infrastructure we have to put together to actually get some permanent solutions? And what are the elements of those solutions? By the dawn of the new millennium, Genesee was a premier domestic violence shelter, providing expansive client services, including their award-winning Mothers and Children's program, in-house mental health, and wide-ranging legal services. The vast majority of people seeking a domestic violent restraining order are not represented by an attorney. And now we want to go beyond shelter walls and share what we have learned with the public at large. It was also in the early 2000s when Academy Award winning actress Halle Berry became involved with the center. She didn't just lend her name. Instead, she dug in with her heart and soul. Please go into your communities and spread the word and give and give, give, give to the Genesee Center because no organization works harder and no organization saves more lives day after day, year after year. Hundreds of luminaries from all walks of life would support and participate in Genesee's events and fundraising campaigns. They would come to intimately know Genesee for its phenomenal work. By 2010, Genesee received national recognition through press, television features, awards, and honors for delivering stellar service. Throughout the decade, Genesee would continue meeting milestone after milestone, like opening a style center for clients, launching the M. Sue Frazier Children's Program, and producing the Raise Your Voice for Peace Youth Vocal Competition. In 2020, at the onset of another decade, thanks to you, Genesee remains vigilant and on task to have a positive impact against the effects of domestic violence. In shelter, I had nothing left, I had no hope, I had no future, I didn't know if I was gonna live. And beyond. Thank you guys for coming together for this cause and, and caring for people like me. Some of Genesee's most recent projects include the launch of its new app, Genesee for Hope, construction of the Fannie Lou Hamer Crisis Shelter, and its entrepreneurship program, enabling clients to become self-sustaining business owners and operators. We had to provide them with opportunities for self-sufficiency and from the vocational program came the entrepreneurship program. 
Decade after decade, Genesee meets the needs of clients and the community head on. With your help, Genesee will continue thriving beyond 40 years of service.